All right, my friends, it is tax benefit real estate time, right? I mean, for many people, it is not a very exciting conversation, but the reality is that real estate has more tax benefits than anything else is ever given or awarded, at least in the country of America. So what I wanna to do today is I actually want to break down not just two or three of the benefits. In this video, I wanna give you the seven top major benefits of why everyone needs to hold real estate. Hands down, more millionaires are made in the game of real estate than doing anything else, period. Andrew Carnegie said that, and it's been shown over and over and over again, that once someone, whether they're a celebrity that earns money, or whether it's a successful business owner, do you know what they all wanna do with their money? They wanna buy the one thing that no one is making any more of that continues going up in value, real estate. Now the cool thing about buying real estate in America. I don't know about your country where you live around the world, but I can tell you in this country, we have some of the craziest tax benefits. And today I wanna to share with you the seven top tax benefits that you actually get for holding and owning real estate. And before I do, I gotta share this with you. For the first many, many, many years that I owned real estate, all of those benefits meant that I didn't have to pay taxes. And friends, I was making a lot of money. And, and I've even been through an audit, like this is confirmed. Like I want you to understand that if you feel like you're paying too much in taxes or if you just wanna keep more of what you make, then the secret is to own real estate because anything else is gonna tax you significantly more. Now as I dive into these seven, I do want you to understand something. Uh, this is not tax advice, I am not a tax expert, I'm not a tax lawyer, I'm not an accountant. So you absolutely need to fact check all of this information. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take from all the sources and information that I've gathered, I'm gonna share it in one place for you in this video right now, and I think it's gonna be really helpful for you. All right, so this, these seven major tax benefits, the first one that I want you to understand is that when you earn normal income, you've gotta pay Medicare, you gotta pay Social Security, and that income can be taxed between seven and 15%. But rental income is not taxed with that. So if you compare normal income to real estate income, there is a 7% to a 15% savings on simply not having it taxed with Medicare and Social Security. You know what, for a lot of people, seven to 15%, that can add up. On 100 grand, that's between 7,000 and $15,000 more than it's where in your pocket. Number two is huge, depreciation. Now for those of you that don't understand, um, when you own a business or you own real estate, you get to write certain things off over time. And so what they basically say is that things lose value with time, so you should be able to write them off. Currently our tax code has a very generous deal that says that you can write off a property over 27 and a half years. If it's a $100,000 property, over 27 and a half years, you can take 100 grand, divide it by 27.5, and that'll come out to $3,000. My average purchase price on a home right now is around $160,000. That means that I get to write off $5,000 of depreciation every single year. Now, check out how cool this is. If I make $5,000 of positive income this year, which basically means I'm having a $400 a month cash flow. So imagine that, $400 every month going in your pocket, and you're not gonna have to pay taxes on that because of depreciation. So depreciation is, it's a really, really huge benefit. And if you keep, keep your money in real estate and keep exchanging it forward, as I'm about to talk about, you'll never, ever, ever have to pay taxes on it. So number three is the 1031 tax exchange. Now, some of you actually don't know what this means. Let me break it down for you. This is a specific tax code in America that says if you had your real estate growing inside of a property and now you are selling that property, oh, well, if you sell it, you're gonna have to pay taxes. Or you can roll it into another property and avoid paying taxes. So I'm personally, I don't like to put money in real estate and then take it out and then put it in and take it out. I actually let my real estate continue to compound and grow and grow and grow and just increase my cash flow more and more and more, but I don't have to pay taxes on that as long as I'm using this tax code. And for me, it's actually a really big, very important tax benefit. Okay, the fourth benefit that you have in real estate is something that is called capital gains. When you go to sell a property, you are going to have, if you weren't using the 1031 exchange, whatever you actually grew on that home, like if I put 100 grand in and sold it for 200 grand, well, my basis was 100,000. I'm not gonna be taxed on that, but the 100,000 of profit, I'm gonna be taxed on, that's called a capital gain. If you have actually a property for longer than 12 months, 
capital gains will usually tax you lower than regular income. So this can actually be a significant benefit. And you guys do need to understand that the IRS, the internal revenue source, it has the ability to give and it also has the ability to what? Take. And so we don't know how long a lot of these things are gonna be around, but capital gains on some projects are between zero and 20%. Again, less in most cases than normal earnings would be taxed at. Okay, so the fifth of the seven that I wanna share with you right now is that you actually get to borrow money tax-free. This is a core part of my million dollar game plan. In fact, if you click the link, go to my website and download my latest book, which is all about a million dollar game plan. How do you make millions of dollars in real estate even if you're starting from nothing? Because again, you can compound it and you can grow it. And I can even show you how to do properties that take little or no money at all. When you actually then finally get that property and you've negotiated it the right way, there's money for you to take out of it. Did you know that you can do a cash out refinance, meaning keep the property, but pull money out of it and actually not have to pay taxes on it? It's tax deferred. Again, as long as you keep it in real estate, you're not going to have to pay taxes. You can keep rolling it forward. So you can borrow and that's pretty cool. Then the government goes one step further and says, hey, you actually could take money that you've been putting in certain 401ks, IRAs, annuities, Roths, these other financial investments, and you can actually self-direct them. And self-direct basically means that you can pull them out of the stock market and move it into real estate without paying taxes on it. Normally, if you got money in a 401k or an IRA and you liquidate it, there's gonna be taxes and penalties, but there's a way to self-direct it, put it into real estate under certain rules and guidelines and not have to pay taxes on it that way. So again, six really, really powerful loopholes that the government basically gives you so that you can keep your taxes as low as possible. The final benefit that I've saved for last is perhaps one of the more morbid ones, but I think it's really important. You see, if you do something that works, you're gonna keep growing it, right? Like I, I plan on dying with over a billion dollars worth of real estate, even, even more, right? And I want to pass it on to the next generation, but guess what? When you pass it on, your heirs that take over the estate can receive really, really big penalties and taxes. In real estate, there are ways to pass it on after death, especially for estates currently that are under $10 million, and you can actually essentially pass it on completely entirely tax-free, which is also really, really huge. So that's the seventh benefit to be aware of. It is a little morbid, but you know what? Your death is a part of the plan. You should have a plan for the money you wanna make income that's active, and you wanna have a plan for the money that you make in death. Now, that's seven of the different top real estate tax benefits. There are others, but what I want you to understand is that you've got to have a plan and you've got to factor the taxes into it. Taxes shouldn't drive the entire plan, but they need to be a part of the plan because ultimately winning in real estate is about optimization. Now, for those of you that are watching this video and you're saying to yourself, man, I don't think I have a really good plan or I don't have a plan of paying less in taxes or I don't have a plan on how I can get more of where I want to go. What I want to invite you to do is I want to challenge you to go and actually click the link Go over to my website and I want you to request a free consultation with my team and say, I don't have a game plan like, or I need a better game plan or it's time for me to update my game plan. And if taxes is something that's really important to you, you need to let them know that because I have all sorts of ways of working with you and the public with partnering with me on deals, getting into certain deals strictly for massive tax benefits. And if that's really resonating with you, click the link, request a consultation, talk to my team and see if there's a match that makes sense. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, if you did, will you please like or comment, share some of your thoughts and ideas, things that you've learned. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to do that as well. You might know someone that has tax problems. Send this video to them. And otherwise, we'll look forward to sharing tomorrow's video with you and we'll see you then.